The story begins a number of years ago, when the company was on the brink of war. So let me get this straight, they just stopped working even though they have another year on their contract? And it's all because of a man that wears suits? Yup, suit man is trying to leverage the power of the daddy gang, in order to try and take over the pardon my cheese steak throne. We have to do everything in our power to stop him. Hey Liz. What's up Liz? Hey guys. Alright, how much time do we have? Are the call her daddy girls coming after us now? Luckily, they have no idea what the address of the office is, so we have a little time to gather an army. God damn it, how many times do I need to tell you guys? You need to tie up the garbage bags or else it will attract journalists. Hey guys, Elon Musk's latest self-driving car just crashed into an orphanage and exploded. There were no survivors. All right. mm -hmm. That's so amazing. Make sure to get the story behind the paywall, ASAP. Julia, please create a promo code so we can make as much money as possible at the expense of everyone involved. What a great day. Okay, I will start rallying the troops. Have you reached out to House KFC yet? Yes, KFC is rounding up his soldiers as we speak. Please Kevin, let me free, I did 17 Instagram Reels today. Okay, I will let you go, Abella. But first, I need you to answer one question for me. Yes, anything. What is it? Would you rather have all of your fingers replaced with each member of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or live one year as Lou Bega from Mambo Number no. 5 but with a penis stuck to your forehead? All right, I'll send an alert to little Sasquatch, the king of House York. He will relay the message to Stephen Che who will fight any of our guests if we need that, for some reason. Lindor! Hey what's up dude? Lindor? Um, is that dude named Lindor or something? No that's Frank the Tank. Unfortunately due to decades of watching the New York Mets fail him every single year, he can now only speak about the Mets. Lindor! The battle with the daddy gang was not going to be easy. Portnoy would be leading an army that was Milton tough, armed with some of the greatest warriors on the continent. How's he pulling that? How is he pulling that? I have no fucking idea how he was pulling that, but there wasn't enough time to figure it out. Suit man is coming. Alright, let's do this. Lindor! I need my guy Tyler O'Day to hook us up with an absolute Mount Vesuvius Fire Flames battle cry to take us into the fight. Ah, uh, Dave, he is no longer fighting for House Milton. What? Who is he fighting for? He joined House Empire State Building. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Really? We lost to some motherfucking cement? Wow, big time cuckolded. Concrete would soon be the least of their troubles. Daddy Gang had arrived, and Portnoy quickly realized they were severely underpowered for what was about to be unleashed. Yup, I'm talking about motherfucking dragons. What the hell is that? It was only the most powerful living creature the world had ever seen, granted only to those with thousands of hours podcasting about blowjobs. The Gluck Gluck 9000 on. The Gluck Gluck 9 Tows Dawn. And that's exactly what it did, Gluck Glucking the absolute fucking shit out of everything in its way. The Bastul Army stood absolutely no chance. That is, until a sudden surprise brought the entire war to a screeching halt. Scooter Braun called. Scooter Braun called? Hey everyone, everything should be all set now Scooter Braun called. Just kidding, it didn't stop the war. In fact it did absolutely fucking nothing, and the daddy gang continued to gluck gluck the shit out of everything in its path, as that Lord Farquaad from Shrek looking ass dude seemed to be overtaking the pardon my cheese steak throne. Dude, these people are absolute lunatics. Well, there's lunatics on both sides. Yeah but I mean the gluck gluck dragon that's trying to murder everyone in our village. Well yeah, but both sides are equally crazy. Bastil stood no chance. That was, until a miracle happened. 
The Barstool Boys got some help from the only thing on the planet that was fully immune to the Gluck Gluck. A crew of the most vile, grotesque, psychotic heathens the world has ever seen. The Wildlings. Nope. The Minifans. The Minifans took down the Gluck Gluck 9 towers at dawn with ease, with help from their fearless and batshit leader, the King Beyond the Wall. Kirk Minahan. The Minifans had ended the war and saved the lives of everyone on Earth. For their reward, they received a $50 gift card to the Barstool store, to be split amongst all of them. Unfortunately, as fast as they arrived, they disappeared. The Daddy Gang vanished and Barstool was stuck with fucking Mooch. Just to keep him on his toes, Portnoy told his dire wolves to give him one bite, as a warning. Unfortunately, the dire wolves had recently been binging the One Bite Pizza reviews and mistakenly took the One Bite request as an ironic statement due to the confusion of multiple bites being taken in each video, going against what is clearly stated as rules that everybody knows. The wolves then ate him alive. Which takes us to current day. Portnoy has been informed that Jersey Jerry may have told Big Tone that Dave said he was kinda cringe. It smelled like a rat, but if he was going to find the truth, Portnoy would have to get the biggest guns involved. I desperately need your help, and I'm willing to give you 100% of the IP, so you can walk away being a millionaire and own the entire franchise. So I would get to keep 100% of booze and burgers? Yup. But there is one catch, we get to keep 50% of the ball's scale. You've got a deal. Inspector Balls was a master of disguise, so Dave enlisted him to spy on Jersey Jerry to get to the bottom of his loyalty. What Balls was about to discover was far worse than anyone ever could have imagined. He witnessed quite possibly the greatest catastrophe in the history of mankind. This is a sad day. It's a bad day. Yup, he absolutely pooped the shit out of his pants. Shame. 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 Little did Dave know, there was a far bigger war, waging in the distance. Huh? Fuck you! The White Walkers